What's up, y'all? This is Reflection Deep. And Chef Ebony Rocks. And we are here for another reaction video from Easy X Natalie. The most recent video that was posted about three hours ago that says, Finally talking to my girlfriend after breakup. And if you guys didn't notice on the other video that Natalie did that says, Break up my silence, my girl brother and versus friend is gr separate. Girl and friend is separate. And I'm just saying what y'all think about that. I'm not even, I'm not even like, you know. I just think that's one of those in-between-the-line things, you know. Oh. Um, Otherwise, ain't nothing else been separated. Yeah, face-to-face so -face with my girlfriend's brother. When Easy, easy posted. Easy posted that. It's so awkward. Maybe that's the difference. Who knows? Girlfriend. I'm just saying. Girlfriend right? means a girl. Who's your friend. Girl, that's your friend when it's separate like that. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm just. I just know. And what y'all uh, think about girl and friend being separated? Are we reaching? Hmm. Or is it, you know... Is it the editor? Did, did anybody else know this is too? I don't know. Go I ahead. Alright, so we're about to take a look. And, and that's what I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what was what, what said, you know, all of that on both sides should have came to you because you're the, you're the middle part. Oh, look at her apologizing her face. She's truly apologetic. I'm not trying to tell you. You gotta love us, Taurus. I'm gonna give me one of me. What's up, everybody? Good luck. Um, as you can tell, I'm at Natalie's house. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that this video isn't intended to bash anybody. So, with that being said, I know you guys are very passionate when it comes to supporting us or supporting me or supporting Natalie or anybody else. Like, this video is not intended to bash anybody. So whatever happens to the outcome or what we say between each other, you know, just keep it positive in the comments. You know what I'm saying? We do read all the comments and it's been very overwhelming, okay? But if you guys don't know what's been going on, pretty much, um, you know, there was a video posted, I reacted to it, um, then Natalie's brother reacted to it, and, you know, we kind of talked about all of our problems that we've been going through for the past two years. Um, a lot of people have noticed. Oh, that's you know, the easiest head in the reflection like back there. That's the hat. Shots that's been thrown oh, that publicly. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we decided to make a video, which was very childish, to put it on the internet and, you know, say what we were feeling. So um, I'm here, like I said, at Natalie's crib, and I kind of, you know, you want to you wanna come out and come over? Hey. Hey. That is like she ain't talking to easy at all. Like she ain't talk to her, like the way she's looking at her. But she was talking to her brother though. This is the last session. Yeah, because how come you know the information that he knew? We've had a few conversations, especially you know you coming to Miami, and of course we're gonna see each other. In the midst of all this, is supposed to be like you know it was supposed to be a fun vacation, but the way things happened, it was just so much. Yeah. Um. But, you know, I, I definitely want to come on here and publicly apologize to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we've talked, but I wanted to publicly apologize to you because I publicly put our business out there. You know, they, whether they knew or didn't know or what I felt hurt about, you know, I shouldn't have went to them before I went to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what what was said, you know, all of that on both sides should have came to you because you're the you're the middle part. I don't want just holding this together, and I just want to say I sincerely. I got a question. So when you left Josh's house, and y'all were both car. walking down the way, and she was saying he, now was saying he said it's a prank, and you were like, I don't care. I feel like did y'all not talk then? Because you're, you're the way this apology is sounding is as if I should have come to you and told you how I was feeling. But Natalie was there. She heard the yelling. She saw the confrontation. She knew how you were feeling. Was she given the opportunity to? Because what I just said in the last video when Easy was speaking. I'm sorry. In the last video when Natalie was speaking, I said, did Easy, since they were already get, already together, was Easy not able to say her piece to Natalie to where it just became this thing where her only out it was the camera because you know this what is what I, I i feel like and i'm wondering you guys went there together natalie came and picked you up 
everything went haywire on the prank in the car. You guys, you guys got home. there. You, you got confronted in the car. Josh. You guys walked back away. So all of that was time in the car where what you're sounding like you're saying was, I should have come to you. I should have talked to you first. Isn't that what you, I assume you did in the car? Talking to her in the car, being upset, fussing, crying, whatever it was that y'all did when you left after the prank itself was pulled. So I'm, I understand Easy is kind and caring. I was going to say, she, wait, wait. she is a Taurus. No, she is. She, so she is genuinely, seeing it from both, from well, all sides. She is, but it sounds to me like she's trying, like she's almost owning that she did something wrong by sitting down in front of the camera. But what I'm saying is, wasn't there not space that y'all were in each other's face together? Why were you back at your house alone when you guys were just together? Mm-hmm. You know, didn't y'all go in the same car where couldn't y'all talk then and there so i felt i because i always felt like when you I picked mean, up you that, that camera emotional, you but no emotional. i felt like when you picked up that camera that was your only way you felt at the time you could be heard so it wasn't would, josh's camera still in the car i, I have so many questions because i said josh's camera was in nelly's car when did he get the camera like he this, said he got the square key Okay, but when did he get it? If they walked away and they walked away fussing and easy, when did he get it back? But you know, if it's the GoPro app, he has it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, I feel like because she's apologizing, saying I should have come to you first, and I'm saying weren't y'all in the car together? Yeah. Didn't y'all drive back together to drop easy off? Like, was there not space and time and opportunity in that moment to talk? I felt like, and I'm not excusing again the way that easy handled it because i understand how that felt to natalie but what i'm saying is there's still a place that was missed where y'all were together Mm -hmm. why didn't y'all talk or come to a resolution then i felt like because logistically there was no resolution to come to easy was too upset and too hurt and natalie was just saying but it's a prank it's a prank he said it's a prank he said it's a prank he was only kidding yeah. And so it was dismissive of how Easy was, was actually feeling, feeling about it. So I applaud Easy for still in this moment sitting here apologizing yeah. again for how she chose to respond. But I felt like there had to be a, a broken piece there. I hope that the apology goes both ways. We don't, you know, we're just now watching. So let's continue. To yeah, watch. we can keep watching. Yeah, I feel like it's important for us to be able to decide together you know what stuff we make public and what stuff is private and that is definitely something that should have been kept private and easy look nervous like she had the principal's office repercussions (laughs) for that happening really bad you know on me like emotionally mentally um you know on our relationship. I know. I, I know. You know. Well, I feel like that although it's out there, I don't want you to feel, you know, like it's just going to be a, a all the time thing. I she know said that before. Easier said than done. Right now, but yeah. after seeing you the way I see you, with no cameras. And, and what I've seen you go through or go through in the past two years is like enough is enough. I feel like I was very selfish, you know, to, to post that, you know, regardless of how hurt I was, it's just, I didn't think about you, you know? And I, I'm, that's my number one priority is you. Come and on that now. that moment, it wasn't. And I'm sorry, but you like, I don't, I don't want to ever see you or feel or know that you can go through the hurt that you, you were going through. You know, and some of the things that you expressed, you know, when you were in Miami, it was just like, damn, bro, I, I fucked up. Pausing for a second. So, as a MOC, saying, masculine of center, masculine of center, saying things like, you are my priority, um, and I should have made you my priority, that's a good that's a good way to start. So what I think for Natalie, since this has happened multiple times in the past, I feel like it may be a broken record in her head at this moment. Um, but ideally, when people are reacting 
and they're not thinking about the main priority it is that is the impulsive thinking mm-hmm. that is just being reactive and I know that stuff is something that you build and you grow to as you get older and you know being an influencer and being behind the camera or being on the internet you guys have so much of a shield as far as those things go and that's how you're gonna still have to treat family unfortunately when people are coming at you a certain way you can't react to them the way that you be being reactive as far as how J- Josh is uh, especially with what Natalie wants from you so make sure her priorities are really the only priority and nothing no matter how upset it makes you and how much it moves you make sure it never moves you again okay because she looks like her face you can see the, the face I'm looking at she looks like She's heard her before. Two of the fingers two years ago. The back and forth. She's tired of it. And you just got to continue to work on yourself. So well, let me say this. If the only issue is the fact that your brother has an issue with her, that also needs to be just kind of looked at. Strip that all the way down. That's been the only issue. So even everything that... Easy Being best stuff. friends, you wait, guys wait, talk and... See, see babe, I'll forget. Okay. Okay, so this said... is what I'm going to say. Is Easy gets on Twitter and she responds to stuff. That's still a response. And yes, she's choosing to respond that way. It's still a response, right? Yeah. So she gets upset and she picks up the camera and she makes a video. That's still her responding to Josh. That's still her responding to how she feels. And that is at its core, she just doesn't feel heard. I'm not excusing how that makes you feel because I understand how that makes you feel. Mm -hmm. But do you understand how hurt she has felt and how she felt there was no other outlet except a camera? Because you're there and you're trying to just say, it's a prank, but it's a prank. He said it's a prank. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's don't be mad. It's that's dismissive of her feelings so i'm telling you it's a two-way street where yes easy has to be less reactive to things externally so she shouldn't be outwardly swayed by her emotions that are inward okay that's true okay but you have to understand also that again two years of dealing with this that's a lot yeah I don't care how you call yourself a stud or a femme or MOC or whatever you call yourself. You're a human being. Yeah. And your feelings matter. No matter what you wear to bed mm-hmm. and how you choose to classify yourself, your feelings matter. Yeah. And two years of dealing with this consistently. Right. Your breaking point is your breaking scenes, point. That's a breaking point. That's just, the bo- that's just the straw that broke the camel's back. So I understand the hurt in Natalie's face right here because she's like, well... You've said this to me before. That's exactly what Natalie's face and this said is the, to the, the, Easy. you said this to me before. But it's only, like you said, it's only be- behind one person. It's not like she's reacting to it's supporters not, it's not or like haters on the stuff. internet. It's not other it's people. It's other not situation. other situations. Yeah. It's, it's your brother. And I'm telling you, if you don't address that, because I hate to say this, and I don't want to sound any kind of way, but I'm just going to talk to you like I've talked to my sister, right? You saying to her... You know, it should be up to us to decide what we're going to keep public or make public or keep private. That's true. Josh ain't But that's also kind of jacked up that you're just telling her just to keep taking it. So she can't talk to nobody. Just like you said in the other video. That's what you you said. You you said you couldn't tell nobody because nobody knew what was going on. So it was breaking you down emotionally. It was tearing you up on the inside. Well, this is what you're asking her to do. You're asking her to hold it in and just deal with it silently to yourself, by yourself. That's kind of not cool, and well, it's once not again, fair because you just said how much it tore you up on the inside to do it. Yeah. And so, but you're also in the same breath asking her, "Hey, keep this to yourself. I know the situation sucks. I know my brother's saying all these horrible things." And she to you, literally but has don't no say one to turn to. Yeah, yeah, don't say nothing. Yeah, I know it sucks, but don't 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 tell don't don't tell nobody. Let's keep this our secret. It's kind of a jacked up thing to say. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, Beyonce and Jay Z don't go. To the nobody runs, problems every day. but Jay Z and Beyonce didn't make their they're not social media influencers, they were already artists established in the industry, right? 
Yeah. Again, for people who are social media influencers, you guys make your money off of your branding, off of your ad deals, off of your videos, off of everything you do social media. Whether you're explaining uh, how to count your ABCs backwards or putting up a light bulb, if you record it, you're going to make money off of it. So truth be told, everything you guys do, you're getting paid for doing it at this point. So to say don't do this also, I'm not disputing that. There should be things between a couple that we keep separately and private. But for you to tell her to do what you just said hurt you deeply. That's more. Why would you want yeah. her to feel the same way you feel? Yeah. The issue needs more to be reactive. dealt with. Yeah, yeah, the issue needs to be dealt with and not just continually swept under the rug and apologized away. When it's her brother because you love both of them so much. Of course you do. So. But that's my thing. You're going to always love the both of them. You have to own your role in fixing it. Yep. Natalie. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. You know, mm-hmm. and I know you just wanted to have a good time on your mom's birthday. I yep. see that we have mutual friends. How that couldn't really work out as mm-hmm. good as we wanted to, but wanted it to. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, you know, I appreciate well. you apologizing and I already talked to Josh and told him how you know disappointed and shocked I was and the you know what he did too. Um I don't know. <laughs> this is just it's been so overwhelming. Yeah. Well, you know, I wanna move forward. I want to continue doing this. I'm really happy, you know, regardless of all the BS and everything that was said, you know, how we were talking, the end Possibly. is, I didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely damn sure didn't expect us to hug, you know, and I, I didn't think that it would end that way. But She's making it like end, harmony. I do see it. Like how harmony be made. You know, just even as best friends, that drama was coming between us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we were just best friends. So when I express my love to you, mm-hmm. and you know, Izzy looks her so intently in her eyes. Me and him are going beautiful. through it. I love that. It. It's like, damn, like this is, it's it's really getting to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what's crazy too is like, what? how he used to always, you know, like make jokes and stuff like that before. Like, he expressed being love together. to me and mm-hmm. how, like, he would low-key be, you know, like, supportive and, like, be with it, you know? That's before it was yeah. real. Because everyone used to always ask, like, was there something more? And he'd be like, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. And he used to always be like, well, you know, mm-hmm. when y'all are close, you know, like, he wouldn't be mad at it. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you know, the right. fact that, you know, y'all were going through it during the time that was, like, tough. Should have been a, a different but, narrative. Like I was saying, even though all of that was tough, you know, everything we were going through, and like we all know, you know, within the family, my family, two years mm-hmm. of this drama. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're given, they still only got, even from my video, his video, a couple minutes compared to two years. Yeah, I don't want the two years. Like, <laughs> she don't want to talk about that man. But I was saying that to say, out of all those two years, we've never had a conversation like that, me and your brother. Never. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was happy to see it. Mm-hmm. I was really happy to see it, you know, and I feel like, man, this is just what I wanted y'all to do all along. Like, I was... Mm-hmm. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Look at her shoulders back. Both of y'all uh, even too big. Like, mm-hmm. neither of y'all She's talking a little louder. The at the same time to just, in two years, have that conversation and just be real and be raw and emotional and just be like, yo, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I've been telling Look at you that. Her physiology like, changed. I like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't be so angry if you weren't hurt. Yeah. He wouldn't be so That's angry true. if he wasn't hurt. And y'all just admitting that, I just felt like brought y'all together. And then it was just like, all right, we're hurt. We're hurt. Mm-hmm. Now, where do we go from here? Exactly. We heal, you know? Exactly. And I think that was important. And it was really like good to see y'all like hugging and laughing at the end and stuff and it really like you know warmed my heart music again 
So I do feel like something good came out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can skip the whole posting about it and oh. jump straight to that. The, right. To the hugging. I was trying yeah. to make yeah. light out of the situation. No. No. I mean, <laughs> when you think about it, two years. That if like, you really years. think about the sequence, like, years. Like, we wouldn't be cool. So, does it just I don't know. No. Does it just I'm not saying, saying I'm just like tapping at No, I'm literally thinking like to make light. I honestly don't condone anything that I did or he did or anything, but I'm just trying to like, it was a joke, but then now I was thinking like, well, would it, would it have happened or no? I feel like y'all were already kind of on that path to the healing mm -hmm. and to the, yeah. and so, you know, I feel like ultimately, you know, you never know like the pattern of things or what was supposed to happen, what was not supposed to happen. But I feel like, you know, we just have to start choosing the peaceful route. Easy made a good point when she talked about, I'll try to make it quick, when she talked about that if it wasn't for that encounter, like, you know, good wouldn't come out of it. Cause it's almost like when you, when you break, like when your back is hurting, and you hurt your back, and in order the right, so you're walking in pain, even though you're walking. The idea is to crack your back and align your back and get it back in place to where you're no longer in pain. And it may hurt in the process, and you, you know, it may hurt just trying to fix it. But at the end of the day, the work paid off, even if it was a painful process. So instead of spending two years being happy, upset, having good moments with Natalie, then you're having bad moments with Josh, it is now hopefully it is over with and it just had to be that big you know storm to bring the calm out so it's not a bad thing i think Renali is probably looking at it a little different but it's almost like half empty half full it's a glass half empty or half full so you got yours no you know it's gone <gasps> you lost it you want to rewind it yeah i rewind it for a couple seconds oh man i was just kidding no i'm not Mm -hmm. into the and so you know i feel like ultimately you know you never know like the pattern oh of i got it was supposed to happen was not supposed to happen. thank you so there's this poem that i wrote years ago and it talks about the opening and closing of doors and that if certain doors don't close you wouldn't go for another way you wouldn't go towards another outlet Right, you would be content there because there's a door there, there's an avenue, there's an opening. Mm -hmm. So the thing with this situation is it happened the way that it was supposed to happen, how it was supposed to happen, for whatever reason it was supposed to happen. Yeah. Now I'm also gonna say this. The reconciliation that Easy and Josh had at the end of the video, and hopefully after that that maybe we didn't see, was a beautiful place of of, of reckoning but like to start right mm -hmm. the work is going to be all the time because again josh doesn't have to support condone or accept your relationship and he may waver in that just as a big brother but what you guys have to do the work is going to be to put each other first <clears throat> and to stand together and not demand that others respect your relationship. Don't allow the space for people to disrespect, disrespect. it. Yeah, to disrespect it. Um, and it was something else I wanted to say. Press play to come back. Happen, but I feel like, you know, we just have to start choosing. Oh, the... no. So traditionally, through my own self-seeking and my own... Mm, thought patterns changing over the years i have learned that peacekeepers are traditionally not at peace within themselves because they sacrifice the internal peace their own that peace. they feel all the time to keep the peace to give outwardly. to other people mm -hmm. yes it is just an illusion it is just a facade i've it's been there y'all true peace been there okay so understand this no Natalie, you don't stand in the place of trying to keep the peace. You stand in the place of trying to own the source of the issue and correct it. I need um, you to understand that it's not about keeping peace. It is about creating peace, not keeping peace. 
creating peace. And in order to create peace, you have to have peace inside and out, not just the illusion of peace on the outside while you have inner turmoil on the inside. So oh, my yeah. dear darlings. That's like that's why that's what those stomach aches came from and the yeah, anxiety and the internally not being at the peace depression while you're develops. giving off the facade and the illusion that you're at oh, peace. Okay. And, and she was honest. She said she was trying to be okay. But in trying her, to in be her okay, early video. Didn't I tell you this? How many times I told you this? Trying to be okay is not being okay. You're still trying. You're trying to be okay. So you're you're in you're seeking in reach of this thing that you never actually are. That's what trying is. So let me tell you, my dear, you guys create peace together. You guys create peace, but you don't keep peace. You create peace. Move in places where peace are. Invite peace in. But where there's no peace, don't act like there is. Fix it. I.e. be the peace you want to see, baby. Be the peace you want to see. Yeah. Okay. It's a peaceful route for everything now, for now on, because that and I can't take it no more. That and I can't, and I don't want you to, you know. You know. She don't deserve it. Nobody and deserves it. I'm gonna say no, no. I just want to say that. doesn't either. You know, I don't have to prove that to anybody. Off camera, like I said, the world only gets a couple minutes of us. You know how much I love you since we became one best friend. That was years ago. Oh, the eye contact. On 99% off. Get up. What are you doing? (laughs) Oh, look at that. So, let's not get a little sober. Like, where are you getting sober? That was good. That was good. Yeah, you better be happy. Do do you love me? Give us some of that hand. You know I love you. Easy. Yes. Girl, you think I would be stressing like this if I didn't? You know nothing I love. Oh my god, y'all. I, I love you. I love you. You are my biggest headache. Also my biggest love too. Oh, <laughs> that's that situation. Yeah. I don't understand what you said. Well, so where do we go from here? Are we like kicking it? We cooling it? We chilling? We friends? We hungry? We friends? We like what? Why she got to bite her lip? Why she rolling her eyes up? Why she biting her lip and rolling her eyes? Hey, she know what's up. Uh, get on my nerves. Oh, we know what that but, means. Like, what Ain't no but. She so gonna. You know you my, you know I'm your, you know I'm your boo. What? You rocking the beads and fingers. Sound like a little kid walking around with their beads. I love those. That's (laughs) super cute hair though. So what are we? You got to make me call you. She leaning in. You know when they hit you with that. What are we now? The Uber's outside. The Uber. Look, she hit it. She know she ain't going. She been going for the shoulder. The head. The head. Well, she got the face a little. I mean, it takes time to heal, but you know, so what are we? I'm not gonna be childish. We still in love. No, she's trying to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we sign out as Nisi Gang? Or do we sign out as Natalie Odell, Young Easy? How do we sign out? <sighs> they gonna be Nisi Gang always, forever. Always, you heard me? You heard That's me? it. Guy, you hear me? Oh, that made me happy. Look, go ahead and get you some, bro. She ain't getting no kids. Come on. They were both. She might have got one after the camera went so. off. She ain't get one right then. Go on, stop playing. She might have got one in about 10 minutes. Nah, she probably got one before she went home. She probably didn't even go home she that ain't night. Go home. She ain't go home that night. She got, some, she got some boxes and some, not, some, she uh, got some stuff over there. Some Adidas over there. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I I'm only gonna say what I what I would say honestly to my sister, my siblings, is seek to be as understanding of other people and how they feel as you want to be understood. Number one, first and foremost. Number two, it's not about the finding a peaceful path. Um, it's about creating peace together because you're gonna always come across situations where 
other people aren't at peace. And unfortunately, other people that aren't at peace always want to disrupt your they peace. Gonna, they gonna disrupt it. They're going to disrupt it. They're going to tear the walls so down. Listen, boy. it's not about the facade of Looking, peace being... while you're at emotional in emotional turmoil. It is about creating peace together. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if anything ever happens like this again, Natalie, you have to tell your brother, hey, yo, I'm good. I'm good. I you, love Easy. You're my brother. I love you forever and you always. You gotta chill with all of that. Yes, yeah, stop doing that. You have to put your, and that's not choosing her over him. He's gonna always be your brother. But that's you choosing your relationship. Because you're, this is what I said a couple weeks ago on social media. I said, don't let your family ruin your family. That's deep. Let's sit with that for a second. Don't let your family ruin your family. And I mean that. Yeah. So. All right. So we're going to close out. My name is Reflection Deep. And, and Chef Ebony Rock. This is Reflection Deep. And, and Chef Ebony Rock. And all I have to say is a journey of a thousand miles takes one first step. We are praying for you guys, hoping that, you know, before this video came out, that you guys hugged it out, you guys kissed it out. She's, you guys are loving on each other. You guys are working on things amicably. I oh love is a choice right that we make each day okay it's a choice to choose your person each and every day no matter what right even when she's your biggest headache love is a choice to choose and a commitment to stay work it out together grow together from this just like you would in any other relationship and I promise you y'all gonna go so far grow through the things that you go through grow through the things that you go through. Yeah, I write right. that down and put uh, Chef Quote Ebony Rock. Quote me on it. Quote me on Chef it. Chef <laughs> Ebony Rock's at the end of that. Yes. We want to see y'all quote it. We want to see you hashtag it. I don't hashtag necessarily want to see you We want to see you guys put it on IG and tag Chef Ebony Rock's in that thing. And I'm going to say this. This is just real, just separate. Natalie, I text. I'm part of the little text gang. I love the little message. I haven't heard nothing in a while, but I know stuff's been going on. And same thing with Easy. But I'm here. And I mean very earnestly from a really sincere place because I have been through quite a bit and I'm still in a place of healing and moving and dealing and everything just like we all are in life, right? But I'm here honestly. If you really ever want to talk, I'm as objective as can be. I'm honest. It's not about picking sides. It's not about who's right and who's wrong because on some level, everybody's right and everybody's wrong. It's about understanding objectivity, gaining perspective of the other person's side, understanding that compassion and being understanding and being understood and then finding the compromise in the middle. Yeah. Okay? So, sure. I'm here. If ever you honestly want to talk. For All real, right. for real, I'm here. Hi. Right. We out. Peace. So. <laughs> well, if you cut me off, I'm going to forget what I'm saying. So I don't so mean, to, I don't mean to, be, to be rude. So when I want to talk, I'm going to just talk. Yeah, you can do that. Cause you cut me off. You see how long it took me to get back that thing. Stop. How long it took me. Stop. Why are you hitting me? Because they don't see you hitting me. They just see me knock you in your face. That's a stupid ad. What I say? Stupid ad and it's probably going to restart. It might. You think it's going to restart? I'll pause oh. it for me. I'll pause it for me. You better write it down, put it on this paper, take a to picture. Remember. Right. Oh, I got something to say. Yeah, <laughs> you cry. <laughs> Not keeping the peace. Why do you take my socks off? No, uh, God. You need to God. put your toenails. But I said, so why are your toes so short and funny and nubby looking? They look fat. They right, look are you swollen. okay? What'd you give me to eat? Was it too much salt? I told you My feet do look chunky. Anyway, some garlic. So I all I have to say is a journey of a, a thousand miles takes one first step. So we are praying for you. Uh, I'm gonna keep this in here. Peace. Don't. Yes. Don't.